Amanda. And today is presented by Miracles Within Us. And I'm super excited to be talking about today's topic. Um, and I ask that as you come in, you write your name in the chat box, let us know where you're, where you're from. Um, and I also added the link to the private Facebook page so that you can check all the recordings and have all the updates. Hola, hola, Denise from Atlanta. Woo thank you, V. We have Catherine from New Jersey. Hola, hola, beautiful. So I'm excited. Thank you so much for being here with me, for taking the time today to really connect and learn how to channel with your spirit. So today we're going to be talking about the truth about channeling spirit and how to overcome your fears around your channeling and your connection. Now, this is a really big topic, and I could talk about this for literally months, <laughs> right? But I'm going to cover the basic ground to really get you a jump start on how you can start, you know, just using your own connection. And that's really important to have your own connection and trusting and really knowing how it works. And it's different for all of us. So today we'll be talking about how to do that. And I'm excited. So thank you all for being here. And let's get started. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about the truth. Okay. The truth about channeling spirit and the angel. Okay. We're going to also be connecting with how to overcome some of your fears around channeling and connecting with spirit, okay? Now, before we get into that, um, what are archangels and angels? Because this is a series of angels and intuition, and of course, we need to know what are angels and what are archangels and what is spirit? So, archangels and angels are pure beings of light. Their mission is to support and help us, the human species, remember who we truly are and connect with our divine self, right? These beautiful angels and archangels are true beings of light. Ask, they ask for nothing in return, you know, and this is how you know you're connecting with a being of light. Okay, great. Now, what I want to know is what are some of your fears around channeling? So if you could go ahead in the chat box, share some of your fears around channeling spirit, right? Have you ever thought about channeling yourself? Have you ever tried to do angel cards or tarot cards? Have you ever tried to dibble and dabble in this? And what were some of the challenges that you faced? Please feel free to share that. And I'm going to be sharing here with you some common fears that we have um, as wanting to channel, right? So, you know, these are some of the things that these are common, but we all have our own individual. So if you want to share some and we could totally get more deep on how to help you overcome it. Okay. So some common fears of channeling is the, the belief or the understanding or maybe not the understanding of having or connecting with negative spirits. Okay, it's this fear that you're going to encounter a negative spirit or that you're going to open up this door um, and won't have control over it, right? It's like if I go and I start channeling, do I lose control, right? So there's that type of stuff that comes up. So those are some of the common ones. Another common one is not trusting the voice that you're hearing, right? Not trusting that what you're hearing is the actual angels or that it's the spirit, right? Um, trusting that the messages are pure and are divine, right? These are some of the things that hinder us or slow us down in our wanting to explore and channel, right? And connect with our spirit. Right. And, and also having the confidence, right, like truly believing in your ability to tap in. Right. Once you work out like your 
your fear parts of something coming to you um, and something that can harm you, right? And I put that in quotation mark, harm you, right? There, then once you kind of get comfortable with an understanding, hey, I I know that I I don't I don't have this problem, then it's like actually trusting what you're getting, and that becomes a whole other level of overcoming your your connect like your inability to connect. Okay, so I'm excited and to see how we can really develop this for all of us here, right? today and really just bring the truth to the surface because there's a lot of misconceptions around what it is to channel, how it is to channel, and all of these things. Okay. So why do I think I can help you? Well, one of the reasons why I know I can help you, not that I think, but I know, is because I've been through this myself and not only have I been through this channeling and overcoming my fears, I've also helped many, many others also do the same. So one of the things that, that I encountered when I first was channeling was this real big notion that I was going to open up and not have control over what was coming to me and that I could put myself and my loved ones in jeopardy, right? That was one of the biggest concerns and one of the things that slowed me down when and in trusting in my connection with channeling angels and spirit, okay? It wasn't until I was able to really learn and practice and really take my own risk within myself and that I was able to do that. And I know that that in itself, it's golden. Like, it's amazing. I, I remember in the beginning, way, way in the beginning, where I was so scared um, of what I was receiving and all these mess and all these things. And it was all myself. My own fear was just being reflected. It wasn't nothing outside of myself. And, and I'll share with you more about that. So the truth about channeling spirit. The truth about channeling spirit is that only what you allow to come through comes through. And a lot of people have a hard time really understanding that, especially when you've had encounters where you're like, well, why would I let myself go through this fear notion? And it's because you have been programmed to believe that it is scary to channel, right? Or that it only certain people can channel. And if you are going to channel that you have to have a specific lifestyle, um, you need to make sure that everything in your life is in order, right? There's all these ideas. And the truth is that none of that matters with channeling spirit. The most important thing or the few most important things I'm going to share with you here is that Connecting with your angels and your spirit is all about intention. And I know we hear this a lot in the spiritual community, the awakened community, right? Even personal development. What's your intention behind blah, 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 right? And what this is really, like really understanding what that means. Your intention is to connect with spirit, to build a deeper um, connection with yourself to to know how to understand and interpret energy right when when you are channeling right when you are interpreting vibration right angels and spirit are not a part of our physical world and only in this world do we speak language okay when it comes to other dimensions, other vibrations, I mean, other realms, it's by vibration. So the way that we communicate is by vibration. And even our language is vibration, right? And it's just that we we interpret it and, and it's like the sound, <clears throat> right? We have the sound and all this stuff that comes through. Now, one of the things that I will also share is that when you are getting ready to channel angel spirit, 
you know, you're, you're getting ready to channel, that you make your environment support what you are doing, which means if you're going to channel spirit, don't watch a scary movie around um, demons and stuff because that is in your immediate perception. And most likely you're going to bring that in to this and you're not going to actually allow yourself to channel because you're not going to channel anything. Your mind is going to be the one trying to control it. When channeling, the most important thing is to be centered, right? To have your intention, to be centered and to create, create an environment that is supportive. And for all of us, that environment looks different. Okay, so I have a few tools here that I'm going to be sharing, showing and sharing with you on maybe some things that can work for you. And depending on what you connect with, use what you connect. Make it your own. Okay, so as you know, I love, ooh, I love candles. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to put this candle, and my intention here is going to be that for the angels to really guide me through supporting you in channeling. Okay, so I'm going to light that. Wonderful. And for me, when the candle starts burning the wax, right, when it actually gets to the wax, to me that's the symbol that the angels have accepted our request. Okay. And it started, so they have accepted our request. Wonderful. So that's one thing, right? Lighting up a candle. That's what it does for me and what it does for a lot of us, right, is that when we light that candle, we then let ourselves know, okay, I'm ready. You're also showing the universe and the angels and spirit, hey, I'm ready. And you have something to focus on. As that light is burning, you know that you are channeling, that this is your this is your time and you can turn it off when you're done, okay? And I always suggest that you snuff the light, not blow it out, okay? But to each his own, but for me, I like to snuff the candle. Even if you just go like that with your fingers really quickly, you won't burn yourself, I promise. <laughs> okay, unless you leave your hand there, right? Don't hesitate, just go for it, okay? So those are some tools, right? And, and this is just the truth, right? We'll get to the fears in a little bit, okay? But the truth here around channeling is going to be able to really step into being able to create a supportive environment, okay? So this means if you need to have um, another person with you who you can do this with, go ahead. If you need to be on your own, go ahead, okay? There's so many different ways to go about it. Use your own, find what works for you. And I always suggest the simpler, the better, because if you make it so complex, you're not gonna wanna do it so much. And we, we myself and the angels, want you to practice as much as possible because Honestly, through your practice, you just get more and more trusting of what you're getting. And you may have, it may be easier to do one topic over another. One thing I would share as well is that channeling for someone else that you don't have a lot of emotional attachment to is going to be an easier route to go when you're first starting off in channeling spirit, okay? It's going to be easier because you're not going off of what's in your head or what you already know about this person. So you're really tapping into the energy. And it's okay to ask questions. I remember when I first started doing reading, okay, and I would get these little hints and, and, I, and I would ask, so does that resonate with you? And I still ask that in my reading. Does that resonate with you? Does that sound true? Is it, you know... Give me some clarity around this because it's not about when you're channeling, right? It's not about you showing off your skills. I want you to push that out the way, right? This is not about you. This is not about you at all. It's about giving whoever it is that you're reading for 
the most information and give them clarity, the most clarity possible through your channeling. And sometimes that takes a little bit of digging and yes and no questions and getting some information and filling in the blanks. This is not something that you need to come now and tell someone and prove your skills. If you're coming from that place, you know, proving your skills and things like that, you are going to have a tough time and you're also going to attract clients and people who are always going to be looking to see you fail, right? Looking for you to see you mess up. And that isn't the energy you want to be involved in. So be aware of that as well. As you're channeling, it's not about you, right? When I'm channeling, it isn't about me. And if I say something and it, it does not resonate with my client, I will, I'll, okay. Thank you for sharing that. Now let's see. Okay, so maybe it means this, or let's let's see why that came up and how it, it this can apply or not apply to you at this particular moment. It's not about taking things serious in that way, right? Channeling is a service, right? And you're letting yourself be a vehicle. This is important to understand, and it's not something to play with, as far as like in in playing with abusing energy, right? This is something that is a tool, a skill that you use for you to, to really get connected, right? And to help others get connected as well if you're doing, you know, readings for someone else or you're, you're helping or counseling someone. You know, even if your friend comes to you, right, and they start telling you some stuff that's going on in their life, and you're like, well, you know this, I feel this thing, right? And that's your intuition, that's spirit talking through you, that's you channeling, and we channel all the time. <laughs> like, it's, we all do it all the time, we just don't acknowledge this channeling on a bigger level, okay? So what I want to share with you right now is being able to recognize that and give yourself credit, give yourself credit credit for the channeling okay give yourself the credit for it okay wonderful so um they have some other tools here as well okay so as you know i'm also a big fan of sage so sage is a great component to use before you're gonna do any channeling and you i'm gonna burn some right now and i say before because it's gonna cleanse the energy energy in your space and you okay so i'm gonna let that sage burn there and i have my little ashtray here right and you know sometimes i'm just like this and i have a feather and this is actually a feather pen <laughs> that i like you know you just kind of do that and your intention is that this space is now cleansed whole and vibrant okay you know, and that it invites the energies of love and connection and the angels and spirit. And if there's a specific spirit or a specific angel or a specific entity that you're wanting to connect with, you can call them forward, right? And one of the things I also like to use is, um, I would always say this before I would open any any ability to channel right in a, in a deeper level i say only beings of a hundred percent pure white light are welcome here only beings of a hundred percent pure white light are welcome here that's all right and in fact it's a demand right i am demanding this in this energy field and as you start trusting in your energy to demand the vibration in the space, you will start trusting more and overcoming the fear component of channeling something that feels out of alignment, right? Or feels like it could do something to harm you, okay? So that is an, that's, um, a one, that's another way. I also have here some crystals. Okay, so here I have a clear quartz, right? This is a clear quartz crystal that I have. Okay, you see me through it. 
right? So we have the clear quartz crystal, right? And the clear quartz crystal is cleansing. And it will cleanse any crystals you have, uh, rocks and things like that. I'm, I love collecting rocks. I like to have rock energy or earth energy in my environment. I also have plants. You can see behind me, I got some flowers that I got myself yesterday. Um, and so I have a few different ones. So I have here um, the rose quartz, and this is just the disc to put it on that I had gotten. Um, and this is rose quartz crystals, and this is for love. And, you know, I'm always a component in inviting love into my space. So having crystals that represent what I want to bring in is important for me. So I have that, I have the, the rose quartz, and I have a black um, terminac, ter, termin, what is it, terminate, terminate, something, I always forget. But this is to cleanse the energy, okay? And what it does is it's not only that it cleanses energy. Yes, thank you, Catherine. <laughs> thank you, thank you, you're right, yes. So what this this crystal is that it only attracts, like it, it only allows high vibrational beings, right? So nothing that is low vibration can be supported in the environment of these crystals, right? So I also have my beautiful wand, Ta -da! right? And I use this a lot of times to cut cords, but I just leave it on my altar actually by my door. I have an altar by my door and I leave this there and it's like anything that comes has to pass through <laughs> through this right and anything that doesn't it can't okay so you support your environment with what it is that you need right it's also aromatherapy is also something that you can use uh, that wand is gorgeous yes thank you so much Catherine I love this one. I've had it for so many years, and I, I truly, truly love it. And I do a lot of cutting of cords. So um, I'll explain. Cutting of cords is just energetic cords um, that we are exchanging with other people that we're connected to for whatever reason, right? All different types of relationships, right? We pick up energy. We pick up from everyone. So this is one of the tools that I use with cutting cords when I'm doing cleansing and clearing right so one uh, so some things so those are some things right you can have sea salt right so some some individuals will actually create a circle and they'll sit in a circle and around the circle they'll create they'll put salt it could be sea salt any type of salt they'll just Himalayan salt very purifying as well. Himalayan salt is really, really pure, right? And and you just sprinkle it around you. And what you do is in that sprinkling around you in your circle is that that nothing can come into that space, right? It's only your energy um, and that it's pure, right? It's very cleansing. So salt is to have that cleansing. If you have sea salt, I would say that's even better or, or Himalayan salt because it's very cleansing. Um, in 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 and of itself. Okay, so the truth about channeling is that it's something we all do. It's something we all can do, and it's something you are already doing. Believe it or not. Okay, and that yes, for some of us it may seem easier than others, and it just has to do with our trust and our willingness. To, to be receptive to it, to the information, right? Our willingness to be receptive. And willingness to be receptive isn't you telling yourself, oh, I'm willing, I'm open to receive. No, it's actually vibrationally you're open to receive. Because if you are in fear, if you have fears around, well, I am still scared around channeling a negative entity, a negative energy, and that I won't be able to push that energy out of my space so that it causes harm to me and my loved ones and people around me, right? If that is a concern that's deep within you, 
it's going to be very difficult for you to take it to the next level to channel uh, the energy, right? And channel spirit. So channeling spirit, channeling angels is just you interpreting what is coming through. Okay, it's and it's interpreting energy, right? So a lot of the times, if you if you follow different readers and and you're been out there learning from other people, you'll notice that everyone has their own unique style, their own unique way of doing things. Um, and you'll notice that they may say, oh, you know, right now spirit is showing me a feather, right? And to me, that symbol means, and then they fill in the blank, right? Oh, that there's angels around you, that there's a situation that's being taken care of by angels or whatever that means, okay? Right, so each person all of us have our own unique ways. So the way that you start figuring out your own is first by dibbling and dabbling with the different things that you already know and are comfortable doing with. And I always suggest and I recommend um, that if you are wanting to do that, wanting to build your intuition, wanting to connect more with spirit and channel on a deeper level to help you in your life and help those around you that you get someone who you trust, right? And you join their programs, right? Like I have the angel membership and in that we connect with angels and everyone pretty much has, you know, there's a supportive community there to really practice and share what is coming through for ourselves and everyone else. Okay. So in in that, right, like being able to have that supported community. Yes, you can do this on your own, and it is much more fun doing it with other people. Believe me, I know. <laughs> I did it all on my own, and I'm telling you, it was a lot. It was more fun when I had people to share it with than not sharing it with. Okay, so these are some of the things, right? Um, having crystals on you. Um, sometimes, some, you know, depending on how you are and how you learn and how you in, interact with the world, you'll see what you need, right? Like some people will get flowers and roses and they'll have an offering, right? So sometimes there's an offering. Like my offering would be my candle most of the time. If I'm not lighting a candle, I'm burning sage and that's my offering, right? And sometimes I completely forget about the offering because at this point, I'm just always channeling, <laughs> right? So it's a continuous thing versus, a, you know, once, once in, once a, you know, once in a while kind of thing, right? So as, as, as for yourself, it's just about trusting in yourself, trusting in your abilities and trusting in how to move forward in that. Now, overcoming your feel, fears is a little bit different because First, you know, channeling, learning how to channel is one thing. Overcoming your fears is another thing, and it's a deeper thing. It, it's deeper, okay, because we are conditioned to be scared around this sort of connection, right? And based on our culture or based on our religion, our family, it may even be somewhat taboo um, or really, really crazy out of the norm. And the truth is that it, it really isn't, and it is to your benefit, actually, to learn how to interpret energy and connect with spirit, because in, in that, right, the benefits of that is that through time, you get more and more clear around what is in your best advantage, what's in your, what's the best thing, the best decision to make. And it's not easy, right? As an intuitive myself and channeling and all that, I still struggle with making decisions. But what I do know is that it takes me a lot less time in that process. And I give myself the time and, and the space to actually receive, right? Because that's a part of it too, is that in, in your channeling and you're asking a specific question about yourself, there you 
you also have to make room to receive. And you can't ask a question and receive at the same time. And this is why it gets easier to actually channel for someone else because you're not the one asking for the question. You're the one vibrating in the answer while the client or the person that you're reading for is vibrating in the question. And that's why you become more receptive than them, right? How do you get over those telling you who might believe in God, um, but not that we have a guardian angel who, can, who we can connect with? So, yeah, you know, religion plays a part for, you know, a lot of us, you have to get clear around your beliefs and what works for you, okay? And one of the important things here is that if you're doing, you are wanting to develop your intuition, you're wanting to develop your connection with spirit and angels, you got to push everyone else's opinion aside and really get clear about what your own opinions are and your own values and what your own, what's your truth, okay? Right, so I was raised, I was raised Catholic and this is like, this is really bad, right? Like, they, they would think this would be really bad. Oh, you're talking to angels. You, you only, you only, you go to church and only the priest, you know, is the one that, that does this sort of connection with the angel or with, with God and that you don't talk to angels because, uh, you know, that's not it, right? And you have to get clear around what your beliefs are and work that through. And that working through is really being able to push all the opinions aside and really step into the vibration of what, what is really here for me? And is it serving me to hold on to those beliefs or the new beliefs that I'm trying to put into my life? You can't, you can't expect to transform and stay in the same frequency. It just is impossible. You can't expect that as you open up to channeling that you will have the same life after you open up. You won't. I can promise you that you won't have the same life. Why? Because you're going to be see you're going to be able to see a lot of truths and you're going to uncover things and you're going to notice how some things are outdated. Right, not that they're wrong or that you are better or that one thing is better than the other. Things get revealed over time. Just think about yourself and, and your aging, right, on earth, right? As you go through life and you learn different lessons, you can't go ahead and start doing things you did as a child, you know? It's like you're a kid, you touched the stove, you saw it was hot, now you're an adult. And then you go back and you touch the stove because you know it's hot, but you're still going there. Do you understand? And that's the same thing. It's like things become outdated. Like you already know that the stove is hot, so you're not going to touch it. So it's the same thing here. You already know that this doesn't work. Why you keep trying to make it work? And it's not about convincing other people. Your journey is your journey. And the difference with, you know, um, what actual spirituality is, is an individual experience, right? And what's been happening, you know, over time is that spirituality has become a new, like, religion where it's become like a little small thing where it's like you're looking for a leader and you're looking for, for like, some form of, like, right or wrong or some form of, like, this is how it goes, and it's the step one, step two, step three process. And um, I'm here to tell you, <laughs> and the angels are here to share with you that that isn't it. Um, spirituality is an individual process, and in that individual process, um, there is no one, two, three, and step thing. And what works once sometimes won't work again, you know. So. It's very individualized and it changes and it shifts as you go along. It just continues to cycle and shift and continues to cycle and shift. And it's up to you whether you're going to hold on to a certain aspect of it or not, right? Even in the fact of saying, like, I'm spiritual, 
puts you in a category. So it's like, I'm just this being on earth, experiencing things and checking things out and really letting myself be guided into my next logical step, right? So some fears, you know, with working through fears is really working through your mindset. Like when I was channeling, like when I was like, when this was like, okay, Melissa, you've asked the question, what is my purpose? And they started bringing it to me and I was so scared. I was so scared I was creating all this fear, right? I would see things that were negative. I would see things like I remember one time I had a candle and I'm not saying this to scare anyone. I'm saying this to show you that you yourself can do this. I was, I was lighting, I lit a candle and I was lighting a candle every night, a white candle to purify my energy because I was totally scared of what was going on. I didn't understand the, what by the vibrations. I didn't understand how to interpret the vibrations. So to me, because I didn't understand how to do that, I thought the worst thing possible, <laughs> right? And that's what a lot of us do when we don't know, we think the worst thing possible. And I lit a white candle and I put it at the corner. Um, oh, actually, you see right there behind me where the Buddha and the plant is, I put the candle right there. And I, I was sitting and then I looked over and I swore I saw a face with horns. And to me, that was the devil, right? And at that time, I was like, Satan is out to get me, you know, whatever. And, and it was, I made that up. Like, I made that up. My own fear made that up. That was not true. And, and now I could laugh about it. But at that moment, I was so petrified. I was so scared. And I didn't even want any of this. I was like, no, I don't want this. I was crying. I was upset. I didn't have anyone to turn to. Because, I, like, I wasn't telling. I, I wasn't really sharing this with other people. Because if I were to tell someone this, but I'm seeing this, I'm feeling this, and I'm having all these dreams and all this, they're going to put me in the loony bin. And I know I'm not loony. <laughs> right? So how did I overcome this? I started to do research. I started to learn more. I started to go in because all the things I knew about white light and all the things I knew about love and all the things I knew about God was being challenged because I said, I'm doing everything right. I have a good career right now and, and I'm doing great things and I'm not doing anything bad. Why am I seeing these crazy? And at the moment, I didn't understand. And now I understand it was because I just needed to get out of my negative pattern, right? And I needed to be here in front of you now. And I would have never been able to even fathom this um, at that moment. But it was a journey, okay? And I, I share this with you not to install fear, but to install that you can go through something that's so scary like that, right? And I was having these dreams where I was feeling like, they were trying to take my voice and I would I would have all of these things. They're trying to take my spirit, my heart, like all of this stuff, trying to trying to keep me from um, attracting my soulmate because my soulmate energy and love partners were, were going to help me advance um, energetically. And and all of this stuff, like it was very, very scary, like everything was being taken from me. And it wasn't until I started to say, you know, I'm going to just really start believing that I can heal myself. And I start believing that I'm strong. And when I started to become strong and when I, when these, and I'm going to put this in quotations, when this energies would come to me, because there was no energies coming to me, okay? What it was, it was my own energy being reflected to me. My own fears were being reflected. Okay, as these this reflection of my shadow was being shown to me, then I was able to bring up my own and say, you know, only beings of 100% pure white light are welcome here. And I would say it: only beings of 100% pure white light are welcome here. Only beings of 100% pure white light are welcome here. And as I got stronger and my voice got stronger, 
that started to dissipate to the point where I don't really ha- I I don't have these encounters and I and you're talking about I had this every night every night for years okay every night for years I was having this I'm not having this anymore I go to sleep and I'm waking up feeling great like wow and yes I do have dreams because in my dream state I get revealed a lot of things and then I have to learn what it means because in our dreams, <laughs> right, our dreams are interpretations, right, and exaggerations of what's going on in our waking life to really, so that we can be startled in a way so that we can remember when we become conscious. But that's a whole other thing, right? Dreams, a whole other thing, not here. But just saying, right? Overcoming fears is a process, and you have to get clear about what these fears are because these fears are your reflection. I was scared that that I would not have control. So guess what? I, I had the experience of losing control, right, and losing the whole scenario of it, right? And, and I would call on my angels, and I still to this day, if I feel any type of fear, if I walk anywhere and I'm like, this feels really, really weird right now, I'm like, angels, now, I, 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 I am not ashamed to say that I say, angels, I need you right now. Higher self, I need you right now because my human self right now is being challenged. And I'm okay with acknowledging that. And I want you to be okay with that because as you know that you have this, you have this army of people, <laughs> this angels, right? And last month we talked about creating a protection shield. So if you did not do your protection shield, your permanent protection shield, go listen to last month and go do your protection shield. Because my protection shield is always with me. And I know that if I'm feeling fear, it's because I'm letting myself feel fear. And I just tap right into that energy. Angels, here we go. And I let and I just let the higher energy take it and do what it needs to do with it. I don't need to do anything. I just need to be. Right, and that's what we have to understand, and that is the removal of also the ego control mind. That I have to do something a specific way, I have to be the one that pushes this away. No, you have to just be and be in your vibration in the light vibration as much as possible for yourself, okay? And you use your resources, these are all resources, right? When I showed you the crystals, these are all resources, these are all things that we use to help us on this plane at this moment in time, okay? So I know I shared a lot. I, I'm really passionate about this topic, but I've also been timid around sharing this topic because I don't want to install fear within you. But I don't, <laughs> I don't need to. It's already there. And... I want to show you that even in those worst scenarios, like, it was really bad for me. You know, I was very, very paranoid. And I was able to overcome that and move forward. And I'm not saying I will never have this experience again. I'm not saying that. But now I know how to get connected and I call on my angels. And I'm sharing that with you because you my friend, I want you to be able to use your, to use all the resource available to you. And energy is a very powerful resource that we are not using when working through our life, you know, and energy, our angels, our vibration is always connected. It's always interpreting something. It doesn't turn off, right? It's not, it's just interpreting energy. And as you become really good at interpreting it, you become more and more at ease with your channeling angels and spirit, okay? And honestly, intuition is all about being able to interpret your energy, right? And that's why a lot of times you would hear me say, I'm an energy expert. And that's because, that is exactly what channeling is, is being an expert in energy, right? Learning 
how to tap into it, read it, use it in a way to help you move forward. And that's what I want. That's what I want for you to be able to do, okay? And that is like one of my really passions right now <laughs> is giving you tools, right? I don't want to do the, the, the work for you, right? It's not about, I could sit here and do readings all day. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't deplete my energy. No, I could sit here. But what I want to do is be able to give you the resources so that you can do it for yourself, right? Because when you could do it for yourself, that is more important. Right, it's like you can you can take a horse to the pond to drink water, but you can't make it drink. Right? I will show you how to drink it, but I can't make you drink it. Right? And this is that kind of thing. Catherine says, Thank you so much for sharing your journey. Thank you, Catherine, for letting me. We have Anna, you explained it very well. Thank you so much. So I'm I'm excited. We're about to jump into Q and A. So if you have any questions, feel free. Now, I want to invite you for a special offer. And this offer is to join the Inner Circle Miracles Membership Program. Okay. And in this program, it's connecting with your intuition. It's about developing it's connecting with your intuition, but in a way where I'm channeling for you, you have questions, and together we kind of connect. And, and you'll notice that in the sessions, one person will ask a question, and it answers almost everyone's question on the call, okay? And what this does is it opens up a dialogue in a way where we start really seeing how we all are really all connected. Okay, so in the membership program, right, it's designed for those of you who are looking for monthly spiritual guidance from your angels and your spirit guides. In this membership, you will receive monthly readings from me and the angels, right, and really, and from each other in a way, because everyone is, is commenting and connecting, and that, that's what we need. We need to be able to be fueled. And I really am excited to be able to provide this forum to you all. As a part of the program, you get a private um, chat box room, right, which I use as GroupMe, right? And in there, every day, we, you have support. So if there's something you need support in, you can put that in the, in the group, and in there, you will receive the support you need. And you could use that as many times as you need to. It's not limited. Um, it's a place where us as like-minded individuals and friends are, are connecting and supporting one another. Okay, and as you can see here on the screen, there's just so many amazing benefits to this program. You get the monthly readings, you get the interactive group um, forum, you get replays from the calls, you also get to, to do the live video um, session, so it's a live video session. You have a private membership page, and you get to have Q&A with me and the angels and the other members, which is totally amazing. So you can receive this today if you join for only $27 a month. Now, if you go to my website and you click on the inner circle, you're going to see that it is in $27. I'm only offering $27 on here. Okay, through this specific link, which I'm going to post um, right now on the group chat. Okay, so only on this link will you be able to get it for this special price. And that's not going to be there for very long. Okay, so, and you can cancel that anytime. It's totally up to you. And, you know, it's just really amazing. The value of this program is really $265 a month. But that isn't what I want to charge because I wanted to have an affordable community where we're all together and that we are supporting each other spiritually, okay? And this call is every month on the 16th of the month. So the next call is going to be this Monday. So if you are wanting to join you want to join now so that you can join the very first call, 
okay? So here's the link to join. I also put it in the, the box here, and a few of you who are on this call are already in the membership program, so I'm excited that you're here as well. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to submit it in the chat box, and I'm excited. So now, Q&A time. Woohoo, Q&A. So I am excited for the Q&A because this gives you an opportunity to ask any questions that may have arise during our masterclass that I may have missed or for whatever reason and any clarifiers, right? So feel free, submit it in the comment box, okay? Whatever is coming up for you. If there's a specific fear um, or challenge that you're experiencing as far as connecting with spirit, share it and we could connect right now and really see what we can do to help you overcome that. Right, so um, I'll just share some more helpful tips here. You know, I'm been, I can't emphasize enough that your intention is going to be important, your surrounding, your surrounding environment is going to be important, and the way that you feel your belief system. Okay, so do it when you're ready, don't jump into it when you're not ready. Okay. And I also want to let you know before I forget <laughs> that our next um, member, the next free angel masterclass is going to be on May 10th, 8 p.m., which is the second Thursday of the month, which is for every month, right? And we're going to be talking and connecting with how to use tarot to connect with your intuition. Okay, and you can also sign up for that on, and it's free, you can sign up for that on the link that is in the box here, right? And what this is going to do, what we're going to talk about next month is like how to really start using the angel cards and tarot cards, and it's, it's going to be fun and how to use that in connecting with your intuition, using it together, because it was one of the tools that really helped me in my channeling. So I channel right? I channel without anything, and I also use cards, and what I, what I learned in the beginning was how to do, use both, right? I was using both because it was easier, right? I have the physical, but I'm also feeling things and interpreting, and it was a lot of validation. So the cards can be used as a way of validating some of the feelings um, and the downloads or the information that you're channeling, right? Catherine says, oh, I love tarot. Yes, yes. So next month, we're going to be talking and doing about tarot. So go ahead and claim your seat for that. Um, and it, it's just going to be a lot of fun. If you have tarot cards or angel cards or oracle cards, any cards that you have, bring them to the next session, right? Bring it, bring it on the 10th, on May 10th. Bring it over and in that bringing over, we can all play with the cards and, like, using it in our channeling, right? I'm not going to be, like, teaching you every card and things like that, but I'm going to give you some tricks and tools that you can use in your connection with both knowing your intuition, um, using your intuition, and using the cards. And if you don't know your intuitive type, you can totally find out. I have the free three-day course on what type of intuitive are you. Um, and let me pull that up for you, actually, right, so that you can sign up for that. I wasn't planning on sharing that right now, but I trust spirit, right? So um, if you don't know, and I really feel that this is a great tool. So if you come next at our next call, if you come in our next call knowing what type of intuitive you are, you have your cards, and you've been through this, and you've created your protection shield that we did last month, you're going to have a lot of advantage, actually. You're going to have an advantage to stepping forward. Viennese says, so excited. Yes, I'm super excited for the unfolding of this because it's about you using all the tools necessary in your environment, everything. Like, you want to use everything when you're – interpreting energy and using your intuition and it's you know having intuition 
and learning about my intuition has only enhanced my life. Okay, it has only allowed me more clarity. Do I know everything? Not at all. Right? But what it has allowed me to do is has allowed me to be able to, to dive in deeper and really get more clarity on a faster pace. Okay? And and what you'll start learning in that is learning how to interpret other people's energies in a way where you can learn around um, someone's true intention without them even saying it, right? And things like that and trusting that, okay? So I'm excited for that and I'm excited to be here with you tonight. And if there is no more questions, I will close the room out and wish you all a good night. Thank you so much. This was amazing. My candle is burning here, right? So beautifully, I'll show you, you know, you all right and you know whatever you need to for your environment do that Anna says thank you Melissa thank you thank you Catherine as well thank you Rose for being on the call Denise Anna Catherine thank you so much for being here live and for all the replay viewers thank you if you have any questions please submit it under the video and I will try my best to get to you, get those answers to you, and give you all the resources needed because it is my goal, my mission, to support you on your awakening journey and your connection with your intuition and divine. So thank you so very much. I love you all. I wish you a good night. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you. I will place the recording on the the group the facebook group i can't even get it out <laughs> i will be putting it on the facebook group so if you are not a part of the facebook group i'm going to put that up right now you can join that and you can get the replay of this video and all the other videos i also put them on my youtube channel if you are there but you might get lost with all the youtube channel all the youtube videos so easier on the Facebook page if you have Facebook and it's free angel masterclass okay so I put that there and thank you so very much have a beautiful night I love you sleep with the angels namaste